When someone visits your TPT store, you probably want to show them some products that you want to highlight. Most successful TPTers are doing this. Look at how these TPTers feature their products. This part of your store might matter more than any other part. You might want people to know about your products that have been rated well. You might want people to know about the theme products. And you might want people to know about products that sell really well in your store. This is a great place to showcase products that you want to bring attention to in your store. And it might even entice people to click on a product and purchase it. That's why I want to share everything I've learned about adding movable images to your leaderboard banner and how to add a link to your featured products. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial of how I customize my store and how I add those diff images using Canva and my Mac. Now, I know there are four ways that you can customize your store. Personal quote, leaderboard banner, column banner, and custom categories. This is part two of a series of four short tutorials. If you'd like to see quick tutorials of how you can customize other parts of your TPT store, you can check the links in the description box below. Okay, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how I add my GIF images to the leaderboard banner in my TPT store. The leaderboard banner is probably the second image you see when you go to a TPT store. It's the image near the top underneath your store logo and the personal quote. The first thing you're gonna to need to do when you're making your leaderboard banner is to check what the file types and the file sizes are so that you can upload an image to your TPT store. On the TPT website, click on the shop icon and go to dashboard. Once you're in the dashboard, then you look at the tabs near the top and click on marketing. When you're on the marketing page, go down to the yellow magic wand and click on customize upload your own banners. I encourage you to write these two things somewhere important, the file types you can make and the file size that you can make for this image. Here are the file types and the file size. After you have written the file information down, you're going to head over to canva.com to make your image. I'm going to briefly show you how I made my new image for the upcoming TPT sale. If you'd like to see a more detailed tutorial of exactly the process that I use to make my images, please let me know in the comments below. We're starting Canva, go to create a design, go to create custom size, and then we're going to put 718 by 90, the numbers that we wrote before, create new design. I'm going to speed up parts of this video to save some time. pretty good okay then same thing as before click share go to download it says mp4 so don't forget mp4 is not one of the supported file types so go to gif because these are movable images if you save it as a you can save it as a png just the images won't move and then i'm going to download it all right, so we've made our GIF image and we've saved it to the computer let's head back over to tpt so we can upload the image uh, your dashboard, you click on marketing, click on the yellow magic wand, customize, and it brings you to here. So then you are going to choose file wherever you saved it, upload. Another thing I like to add is a link from the leaderboard banner to a custom category that I've created. If you need to know how to make custom categories, you can check out one of the next videos that's in this series is I have created custom categories, so I want to make a link to the Valentine's Day stuff. What I do, go to my store. In the custom categories, I have Valentine's Day, we say Valentine, so I'm gonna click there, and then it has my Valentine's Day products here. So I'm gonna copy, go back to this page, right click and paste, I'm gonna save that, now you can see this has been uploaded. Okay, and then you can go back to your store if you wanna see what it looks like. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna change these featured items so that it looks like the Valentine's Day resources. So I go to product listings. I'm gonna go to here and I wanna add this, but I cannot. So I have to delete it, which I find kind of annoying. I have to go quick edit to this one, then unclick this and update. It takes a while for these to update, just FYI. And then you can go back to your store to see what it looks like. Okay, I think that looks great. I'm happy with the way it looks and the links work. The third part of your TPT store that you can customize is called the column banner. If you click on the screen, I'll show you how to make and add this image to your store so that you can highlight and put a link to important resources. 
check out that video. A la prochaine!